Hey guys, a uh, bit of an update. Got my truck back. Uh, it works. Goes down the street and everything. Uh, there was a bit of an issue. We had, uh, I ha me and my brother-in-law had to change out the oil pan gasket because on the driver's side under it blew out the side. So we put the new one on yesterday and uh, now I think uh, I think we're about two or three quarts low. Still sounds good. Should be enough in there to keep it from being hurt. So I'll start it up and see it, see how loud it is. I'm gonna call it. Hey, I'm recording, Roderick. I'm just letting you know I'm recording. So I'll fire it up and show you guys what it sounds like. Make sure she's in neutral. And she starts quick too. See? Works good. The oil is a little on the low side. The temperature, it kind of goes up about to the, the end. And then fluctuates between about where it's at and the end. It just goes back and forth. The battery, it kind of, well, stays around, well, about there if I don't do anything. And when I go to start it, it's way down here on that, uh, see that thick line right there? It's just that line right there, the next line. That's usually where it's at. Uh, I did get a stereo hooked in. I just had to run it straight to the battery because the the um, the hot wire and the ground wire and the yellow wire and all that stuff. I don't know what is going on with it, but uh, so I just ran the wire straight out to the battery. And for my brother-in-law, uh, what was it? Uh, 573 customs this is for him how should i run this damn uh thing right now we just got to temporarily ran out the door and unto under the hood and i don't see any place to put anything you know like a cable i can't find any place to run it through and drilling the hole is something i'm not comfortable with on doing and i don't know if my other brother-in-law will help me so that question was for him uh, but other than that sounds good we did get the oil pan on the gasket on and we couldn't get it off so we had to weave it through then clean everything off really clean and all that stuff and if anybody understands why that's doing that let me know It vibrates. But it, it works. I drove it around the yard myself. I drove it around. My brother-in-law's drove it around. My other brother-in-law drove it around. So, I'm going to set the phone down real quick to shut this truck off. I have to push a little button over here this little button right here I got to push it to turn it off so and I got my stereo and my speaker in here and shit sounds good I would show you but I may get in trouble for the thing and since I ran it straight to the battery I'll just show you a quick thing see it comes on let me turn it way down Hey, it works. So I have to start the truck. Well, I keep it on. I start it every chance I get. And uh, the the dash lights don't work. So I put these lights here in. You plug them in on your cigarette lighter. 
but it doesn't work. The I think the cigarette lighter either needs to be replaced. I checked the fuse. The fuses are all good. Uh, I still got to do the wipers. They they come up. And then it sounds like a grinding under the dash, even though I know the the gears ain't under the dash, but I'm thinking it's the gears that's in the motor is a little stripped out. Uh, yeah, or it could be the switch. I hope it ain't the, well, I hope it kind of is the switch because it'll be easier to mess with if it is the switch. Uh, working with the motor itself, it's pretty dangerous. You can ask my brother-in-law. <laughs> he understands. Don't fuck with it. Mess with those. My bad. But, yeah. I got my bed liner in. Let's see. Ah. Got the bed liner in. The back one on the tailgate, I got to get the screws for it, which I think that's them right there. I'm not sure, but I got to put them in, uh, and I got to fix that door, make it where it don't hit the fender. The fender, I think, was uh, too close to, uh, on the bottom when I got it, and I just needed the door open so I could do anything in here, so I just pulled it open, and it bent the outside of the door, uh, bent the door, just kind of bent it out. It won't take too much to fix if I get that fender pushed forwards a little bit on the bottom or just shave some off one of the two. Uh, yeah, and then this would be pretty much good to go. Horn works. Everything works in here besides the dash lights. Once I get the wipers on and get that dealt with, then it should be able to get this thing legal. And the day I get it legal... The day we got to haul off junk. That way we could pay for everything that we put into this. Uh, to get it up here back to the house. Spent a little more money than it should have. Because we went down there with a hundred bucks. It was what we was able to spend. Uh, we put 50 in gas in this thing. Should have made it all the way home, but... That's when the oil pan gasket blew out. Shit started messing up. Don't know what went on. Oh, the starter uh, started acting wonky. It just kept wanting to spin. And then uh, we thought it was uh, we thought it at first we thought it was a starter, but then my brother-in-law that hauled it here tapped on the start uh, the solenoid. And it stopped the motor, for the 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 starter to turning, and so we replaced that. Now it works great. And then we put the oil pan on there, driving it around. But it doesn't like my yard. It's way too heavy for my yard. Went into the back. It was we were gonna get some limbs back there, bring them up here to get them out of the yard back there, so I'll be able to mow better or mow more area. Try to get this place cleaned up. Pull back there, getting ready to back up, and that thing said, uh, yeah, you're done. So we got it out, got it back up here to the house. So, well, as you can tell, it, it's back up here at the front. And uh Yeah. See what else? I think that's all I've done to it besides clean the bed out. Me and my nephew. We cleaned the thing out. And I did fix the door handles and stuff. They they was like grabbing. But it works great now. Both sides. Well, yeah. That side works too besides uh, when you go to open the door. Well, the fender right down there. It kind of. You got to kind of pop it open make it open all the way otherwise that's as far as it opens which isn't far at all uh 
the seat here needs to be well figure out how to make it grab where it stops rolling back and forth when you hit the brakes or gas or something like that that thing just scoots back and forth this side's solid uh all this wire right here it's not in the way of the gas pedal or anything so don't be freaking out this here i might need to tighten up just a little bit i got some tape in the house you can see where i've had it taped i probably just pop this off and run it out behind and pop it out like right here and then take all the extra like it's here tighten it up a little bit that way we can have dash lights or we can see all the clusters and everything and the heater stuff doesn't work uh i thought it was a fuse could be i looked under there like i said all the fuses are good so it's probably the motor that's out there under the hood so we won't deal with heaters or we won't have heat or air in the winter or summer but we'll sound good doing it <laughs> sorry uh oh and this amp does pretty good in this truck it makes it sound pretty good it rattles everything i need to get some other speakers in here because right now it's literally just just this and that that is literally it and my brother-in-law he told me i got a crack right here pop this out put some silicone or something behind it i'm trying not to run it too much because of that but he said it's still good. It's just I need to put some silicone behind that. That way it'll fix. And that is what I'm running. I got a Explode. And then a Pioneer. Uh, what is it? 900. Yeah. But that's what I'm running. And then a. What is that? A Dual. The other one I had in here, this Pioneer, I couldn't get it to turn on at all. But I think it, like I said, I think it's the wires and stuff that's all bad. It probably works. If it does, I'll probably switch it back to that. Because that one there, you can hook a mic to it so you can hands-free, you know, somebody calls or something. If that one works, then I'll probably do it that way. Oh, my hand's going numb. <sighs> After I get this going in license and shit we take it to the car wash look at all that it nasty it needs a bath bad the bed does too it had a whole bunch of water down here at this end when it's sitting out in the yard i took it out to uh take the bed up so i could put the gas uh, tank on and everything and well, it didn't get put back on until it got down to my brother-in-law's house, uh, 573 Customs house. And, uh, yeah. Um, then when I got back up here, I put it in yesterday. I think I already said that. I don't remember. But, got that in. Everything's good. The window, that that window is a little harder to roll down plus it ain't got a handle to grab this one here the i keep working it going up and down it it rolls pretty easy i mean really easy my little nephew probably roll it up and down now oh wait i can't get it legal until i get a mirror for that that's a pain in my ass unless i take it off from that one over there I think this is the driver's side that has to have the mirror, not the passenger side. But I'll probably look it up because if I can move that mirror over here, then uh, I'll just do that. And the mirror is down there, but the part that holds it, the little, well, you can see it's right there. It, it's snapped off. My cousin reached out there and grabbed it and twisted it and broke it off but uh anywho uh that's pretty much it i got my moped back up here i don't know if i said anything about the moped or if i've ever mentioned anything about the moped got it up here 
Uh, almost got this thing rocking and rolling. I put 0.1 mile on it. On the little domino thing here. I When I got it up here, I pushed that little thing and it made it roll back to all zeros. And it's only on the one. Let's see. Can you, can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> and that was going down that way in my yard going around that big uh big old blackjack right there i don't know if y'all can see it there's a big blackjack down there went around it and then i went to my backyard i went down to the driveway right back there there's a driveway and about right there on the driveway is where i got stuck just behind that trailer on the other driveway about right in there and yeah so yeah, driving around the yard in the truck is a no-go. Then I could just use the lawnmower, go around, get the junk all gathered up and stripped and took apart, and I'm recording. So I get all that stuff all situated, get it up here, stripped down. So when it's legal. But I got to get wipers first. That's one of the main things I got to get now. And... I don't know if I, well, if I could just, uh, well, not right now, but I'll find out which mirror you have to have on the doors to deal with those. The lights work, they dim, blinkers work, everything works, literally, and besides the wipers. But everything else, oh, well, the lights on the dash, heater, the dummy light for that over here, that doesn't work if that door's open. Now it works if I open my door, it does open. This shit. See, it does turn on. Well, once in a while, sometimes it takes a second for it to pop on. Uh, let's see, is that. Okay, rear view's a little loose. That's got to be tightened. Um. My brother-in-law, he went through all the brakes and stuff before we picked it up. He took the brake calipers off and went through them and made sure all that stuff worked. And uh, Yes, I know I got to fix that. I done mentioned it on here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh, this is the knob for the wipers, if you can't tell. Uh, it took me a minute to find where it said off. Now I felt a little click and I was like, ah, maybe that's it. And then the wipers stayed off because they'll, they'll start to go up and then they'll stop. And then a few seconds later, they'll take off a little further and they'll just keep doing that until it gets all the way back down like they are right there. So, uh, I can't get this air conditioner part here to work. The button stuck in and it still won't move and I don't want to break my little window there to get it open the other side does work but my wife's over on that side I can't point that way now to show you it uh, but yeah I but like I said I do need to get oil for it and then she is in tip-top shape ready to go she drive well she could drive now but oh she moved that one there does work can you come up and open it push that little button in that little silver button push it in and then pull back there you go just like that now open it all the way up well that works see that side does work so we do have a little bit of air conditioner up in here for the summertime too bad i can't get this one to work that'd be better no, them are the air conditioners. Them are just, that's just windows. The little flapper things there, them are air conditioners. Because they direct the air at you. And it doesn't cause a big pocket of air in here that slow you down. But anyhow, uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and sign off of here. Uh, doesn't work. None of that works. No air conditioner, no heater. No, I don't. <laughs> Are you insane? I had to crawl up under there and get the damn shit out.
pardon my language. Anyways, if you like this stuff, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, yeah. All right. Until next time, stay weird.